All right, before we get into today's video, yo, check it out. I did a thing. I got a logo design. Well, that was actually a while ago, but uh, I got it made into stickers. I'm actually pretty happy with the stickers. I did a really crappy job of applying the sticker to the hard hat, but uh, yeah, I know I'm happy with the outcome. Um, July 1st, or the beginning of July, I got a little, a little something I'm gonna do here that will involve some stickers and maybe a little something else, a little, uh, a little promotional thank you to all the subscribers and future subscribers. So stay tuned for that. That will be early, early July. But for now, back to pump content. All right, what's going on? Happy Monday. Waiting on concrete. Story of my life. Just a short, sweet one today. We've got uh, about four loads that we're going to pour into these walls here. But uh, yeah, lots of waits, lots of delays, and the mud is kicking off like crazy here. So, what I'm gonna do, I always leave enough to recirculate. Usually take my hopper down about halfway, about right where to it is here. And I use my absolute favorite product in the entire universe for recirculating. The old Fritz Pack delay set. And I love this stuff because, because, because it doesn't kill the concrete, it just slows it down. And uh, I can circulate this around and then when we get pouring again, we can put this into the pour area. And no worries about it uh, remaining in a mud-like state for days, weeks, months, as with sugar. So, so what I'm going to do, try and do this with uh, one hand on the camera, one hand on the bag. It doesn't take much here. Just going to sprinkle in. Just a little, a little bit, a little bit there, a little bit there. Assuming there's about one cubic yard in the pump right now, I'm gonna add about a uh, one cup, one baker's measuring cup of this product. So I'm pretty happy with that. So we're about a cup right there. Ideally, if I didn't have a camera in my other hand, I would be recirculating and dribbling this in at the same time. But, you know, the challenges of being a one-man show. I'll give a little rinse on the great bars here to liquefy that stuff. Mix it in, just like so. Yeah, I know, the remote control is dirty. That's my next project. Air cuff open. Pump is on. -ish. There we go, we'll turn the vibrator off. Just so it doesn't ruin my video. And we'll just spin this around in about a, a two on your AM dial. So mix this in real good. Working around the back corners there. Working around the back corner. The back corner there. They give this a good spin. And you notice with this stuff, even without adding any water, it'll actually bring the slump up quite a bit. Um, so you don't need to add too, too much water with it. But yeah, this stuff is uh, is hot as you know what. And our next load is 45 to an hour away. So we'll spin this around. And I like doing it this way so I don't make a mess of my hopper. But because I'm getting a little bit of build up on the back here, what I'm gonna do is. Elevate our hose. And we'll knock in the stuff across the back of the hopper too. And I'll fire the vibrator up, which is going to help a lot once I stop filming here. But you get the idea. We'll just work this around real nice. Probably cycle it around 30 or 40 strokes, get it mixed in there real good. Hey, 
Anyway, yeah, you get the idea. Like I said, if I didn't have to run the camera here at the same time, I'd sprinkle that bag of uh, magic pixie dust in there while recirculating. But yeah, this uh, for me is by far the best product. We also have some uh, recover chemical, but I find it's a little bit aggressive and it will completely kill the concrete. Uh, the, de the standard delay set here, Fritz Pack brand, used in moderation will not do so. Uh, the only negative with this stuff, as I mentioned in previous videos, when the concrete is like nuclear hot, uh, this stuff is not effective. It's gotta be used when the mud is still relatively fresh. Uh, when it really gets cooking like uranium hot, uh, sugar is really the only answer. Um, Del Delvo and Recover are pretty effective too, but when it gets like go time, scaredy pants hot, run home and cry to your mommy hot, uh, that's why I keep a, a bag of brown sugar in the cab of the pump. Anyhow, that's it for today. It's a little bit of recirculation. Boom party avoidance. I know it's hot out. It's tempting to sit in the cab with the AC running while the concrete's baking away in your pipes. But uh, I usually do this. I'll give her a run, a little bit of delay set, and then I'll go eat my sandwich and enjoy the uh, air-conditioned Peterbilt environment up towards the front of the pumping apparatus. That's it. Grab yourself some delay set powder. And that is Fritz Pack brand. I'm in no way sponsored by Fritz Pack, but Fritz Pack, if you want to send me some bags of delay set, bags, cases, pallets, I will gladly accept them. But yeah, no, this is really good stuff. And as a bonus, it even smells good. So like, share, subscribe, times three, over and out. One other point of note, Remember the good old days when concrete pumps had, they had levers, they had one for water and they had one for agitator. You could kind of crack the agitator halfway on and turn your water on and you could get like half speed agitator and water at the same time. So when you're recirculating, you could just spray it in there. And then they went to these silly toggle switches and you either turn it on, you spray a bunch of water, you run back before it sucks air and pops. You turn the water off so you get some more auger action. You fire it back on. You run back. You do some more of this. Or you just fill a five gallon bucket full of water and splash it in there as you're recirculating. Anyhow, I hate these toggle switches. Putzmeister, please bring back the water auger levers. I would love that. I know they brought back the rabbit turtle button on Ergo 3.0 on the new remote control. But man, oh man, if we could get those levers back or some way of having agitator and water operating at the same time, even in a semi-limited capacity, uh, that would be very, very helpful for us pump operators in the field. Let me know what you think in the comments. What do you do? What are your tricks? What do you think uh, would rectify the situation aside from just bringing the good old fashioned levers back? Let me know.